Hey party rockers, you're in for a real treat today. Today we are going to be talking about boys. More specifically, how did boys get here? Who picks whether a baby will be a boy or a girl? Well, it all comes down to genetics and chromosomes and other nerdy stuff. The most common way gender is determined is by genes. No, not that kind of genes. Let me ask you something. Are you a mammal? Good, I thought so. Humans, dogs, and other mammals have this thingamajig called an XY determination system. The Y chromosome carries factors responsible for male development. The default gender with two X chromosomes and no Y chromosomes is female. But if you have one X chromosome and one Y chromosome, congrats, you're a boy. What about if you have two Y chromosomes, you may ask? Well, that is technically impossible because you always inherit one X chromosome from your mother. And if you do not have a mother, I have no idea how you exist. Do all animals have this XY determination system thingy? No. You see, birds have it the opposite way. They have a WZ determination system, and the Z chromosome carries factors that, that are responsible for female development. So that means the default gender for birds with two W chromosomes is male. Pretty cool, huh? But just when you thought stuff couldn't get any crazier, let's talk about insects. You see, insects have only one type of gender chromosome, an X chromosome, so this is how they work. Insects with one X chromosome develop as male, but insects with two X chromosomes develop as female. That's all for today. If you really sat through this, you deserve the gold star of nerdiness. Okay, bye!